Hi everyone, welcome back to Transformers Toys for Kids. My son and I are so excited because stores are starting to roll out their Transformers Rise of the Beast toy line. Here's just a few I've picked up, even though I'm featuring this Optimus Prime Nerf gun this week. In future weeks, I'll be rolling out these really cool weaponizers with Optimus Primal, Optimus Prime, and this guy's name is Aerostripe and Chain Claw. So these are called weaponizers. And then another video will show this combiner, which has another Optimus Primal, but then really cool Skull Cruncher who goes on the top like armor. So hopefully you can look forward to those videos, but this week we're taking a look at the Optimus Prime Nerf gun. Let's take a quick look at the Optimus Prime Nerf gun packaging. It says Optimus Prime Blaster 2 in 1, 13 steps. Flip it around, it looks like it comes with two darts. And then there's Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And then it looks like it's just a standard Nerf gun where you pull down the bottom to get it to reload every time. So let's get this out of the packaging and check it out. The Optimus Prime Nerf gun is out of its packaging and I'm gonna have to say this is the oddest looking Nerf gun I have ever seen. Obviously this is where you're gonna put the darts and it has a little sight you can look down. I'm not sure how well that's gonna help you out. Um, if we pull these two tabs down on the sides, it's got some storage for the darts. So let's go ahead and see how powerful this thing is and fire at some random transformers I found in the basement. What do you think about the assortment of transformers I found? We've got some from all different sorts of lines. So here's what we need to do. We need to take a bullet, push that through, put it in the end. I would push it in all the way, seems to help it shoot a little bit faster. Pull this spring loaded and fire away. I want to see this flip changer transform when he gets hit. Let's try that again. think Crocodile Megatron is gonna fall down. He's got too strong of a base. Crocodile Megatron, the toughest of them all. Now to see how this Optimus Prime Nerf gun transforms. You don't have to take the darts out, but I'm going to. And then we can fold this part back that helps you aim. And then we're gonna take this whole assembly and bring it around and down. And it locks in pretty well right down at the bottom. Then we're gonna work from the top. We're going to take his arms and bring them up like this. And you can bring his hands out right now too. And then it says to kind of give it a pull. So you're gonna pull these parts out, which I feel like I could snap them off, but bringing those out like that and then rotate his arms down. And as long as the arms are pulled all the way out, you're good to go. Then it says to open his chest plate and bring out his head. Check that out. Pretty cool. Close his chest up. And then the last part, we push this in and bring the legs around and then the feet out. And then we can put the darts back in if we want. So we can lift these up here and here. Kind of adds a fun effect. To the back of him and the last part I didn't show is to allow him to stand up completely this has to be locked like that and there is Optimus Prime in his robot mode looks pretty good like this but then check out his backpack <laughs> that's bound to be there you got to hold on to the nerf gun somehow but he doesn't look too bad you can move his arms around but unfortunately the head doesn't move the legs don't move I think it's just more of the gimmick, the fact that a Nerf gun can transform into Optimus Prime. I think the head looks really good in relation to how he looks in the new movie, and it's just fun that it can transform at all. Check that out. And I really think, I mean, if we just brought this down, he could still fire away if he wanted to. So put that in. It's gonna be harder to pull the trigger, but fire. Is he locked somehow? I had to stop filming because I was having technical difficulties. It won't fire. And the thing I discovered is the only thing they want you to do is put his head down. This must be triggering something back here 
to where if his head's up, it won't fire, but if his head's even slightly down, it fires. So I don't know what it is about that. When his head's up, it locks it, so you can't pull the trigger, but put the head down just slightly, fire's fine. Overall, I think this is a really fun toy. It's great to be able to say, hey, this isn't just a Nerf gun. This is a Nerf gun that can transform into Optimus Prime. Hey, thanks for watching this week, but don't forget to come back next week where I'm going to show off either these Rise of the Beast weaponizers or this really cool Optimus Primal and Skull Cruncher combiner.